But stress can take on a variety of forms. Some stress can happen from the result of a single event, such as the alarm clock that wakes you up in the morning, missing a deadline for a bill that you should have paid, or the neighbor's dog that won't stop barking when you're trying to record this YouTube video. However, other stresses can happen when managing a long-term mental illness or a difficult and demanding job. In these particular examples, when cortisol is released over long periods of time, this type of stress can be referred to as chronic stress. Now, while all stresses, small or large, trigger physiological reactions, chronic stress is problematic because of the significant impact that it can have on both your brain and your body. The research shows us that chronic stress can impact our cognitive function, our memory recall, and it can even shrink the size of our brains if left untreated. There's even evidence to suggest that stress can impact your DNA, but that's not all bad news because what that means is if you decide to change how you react and respond to the daily stresses that you're exposed to throughout your life, not only will it be beneficial to you, it could well be beneficial to your children and your children's children, which I find fascinating.